Welcome to CNC Machinist Made Easy. Tonight I want to talk with you about the metric system. The metric system is the same thing as a, an inch, a standard system. It's just a different unit of measurement. That's what it is. What is metric? A unit of measurement. You have a one inch, you have a yard, and that's a standard, what we call standard here in the United States. The metric system is very similar, except the units of measurement are just slightly different. And what is that? Sometimes you'll have blueprints that are dimensioned in metric. And sometimes you'll have them in standard, like a one inch, two inches, three inches, a half of an inch, a quarter of an inch. Um, the metric system is pretty much the same. It, it, it actually is this, the same thing other than the fact that the units of measurement are different. And how do we tell the difference between that? Let's look at it right here. A good way to do it is one millimeter is 25.4 times smaller than an inch okay just imagine that in your in your in your head now there are millimeters there's centimeters there's meters machinists for the most part deal in millimeters there's 25.4 millimeters in an inch now see I want you to look at both of these two ways you can view it and get the picture in your head you'll better understand it one millimeter is 25.4 times smaller than an inch or there are 25.4 millimeters in one inch when you look at it like that you paint a little picture in your head and it gives you a very good understanding what you're dealing with when it comes to that one thing I like about millimeters is because they're so much smaller oftentimes you can just stick with whole numbers if you have open tolerances because uh, uh, 25 millimeters they'll say and that's very close to one inch and in the metric world they deal a lot with a, a lot more with whole numbers because they're smaller than an inch which just makes things a little easier I think so let's take this and put it into practical application on a ruler you can see down below here you can see down below you're looking upside down but you can see it's the 11 inch mark and the 12 inch mark if you look on the other side of the ruler where you're dealing with the millimeters right there each one of those small lines up here represent one millimeter okay and down here you see from there to the to the 11 to the 12 is one inch and you can see one millimeters there two is there three is there and so on up to the 10 mark right here once you get to 10 millimeters it equals a centimeter a centimeter we really don't use centimeters often unless you really get into long uh, long, long big beams then they might use centimeters um, just like you don't normally say make something a foot and a half long in, in the machine shop world it's 18 inches uh, so what we have right here is a uh, and I want like I said I want you to notice 10 millimeters equal one centimeter but that's really kind of irrelevant just if you stick with the metric uh, the millimeters for the most part 99% of your work you're gonna understand it I just addressed that so you'd better understand how the metric system works it goes in groups of 10 so let's take this and put it into practical application on that print that we used on the prior video let's say we have two inches right here now if I have two inches right here and they're asking me how many millimeters is that X dimension off the left side of that piece you would do, you would say or two inches times 25.4 because there are 25.4 millimeters in one inch so 25.4 times two inches would be 50.8 millimeters so if that print read 50.8 millimeters you could take that number and divide by 25.4 and you'll come up with two inches so oftentimes in the United States we still deal with inches but you're reading prints that are metric dimensions with no problem at all you just take the metric dimensions and you divide by 25.4 and you just converted it in the inches so let's take another let's do that let's reverse this equation with the y dimension okay where let's say this hole uh, we've addressed the, where the X location is the Y location is what if the print calls out 76.2 you're not going to normally in the United States put 76.2 millimeters in your machine because it's very standard you can you can change some of the new machining centers to you want to read metric or do you want to read standard 
but for the most part everybody's still into the standard you're not going to plug 76.2 millimeters into your machine unless it's unless you have the um diagnostics or the settings set for reading millimeters and with your edge finders and probes which we'll get into it's very more it's it's more common that you would translate that to the standard or the inches and how we do that is 20 or 76.2 millimeters divided by what divided by 25.4 that's your magic number for tonight 25.4 you're either dividing it or you're multiplying it depending on which way you're going it would equal three inches you have 76.2 millimeters divided by 25.4. You would plug into your CNC machine for that location. The Y is minus 3 inches. The magic number for tonight, like I said, 25.4. Remember that number? You're either going to multiply it by 25.4 or you're going to divide, depending if you're going from inches to metric or metric to inches. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching.